Hallelujah. Amen, amen, and amen. A very good and pleasant morning to you, people of God. I welcome you to Morning Dew Prayers this glorious Sunday, the 16th of April, 2023. Today, God will answer your prayers. He will cause his hand to carry you. He will envelope you and your family. He will lift you up from where you are to a place of green pastures in the mighty name of Jesus. Today shall be a day of rejoicing. This week shall be a week of fulfillment. The promises of God concerning your life, your family will come into realization even this week in the mighty name of Jesus. God is always faithful and his faithfulness will locate you. It will work for you. It will cause you to rejoice in the mighty name of Jesus. We are still in the month of April, our month of green pastures. I pray that you will be established in green pastures in the name of Jesus. People of God, see the best place for a sheep to be is in green pastures. They will find peace. They will find comfort. They will find a lot of abundance of food, of greens. There will be water. Amen. They will lie down in a very peaceful atmosphere. And that's the best place for a sheep to be. And because one or two intruders may, be, may want to come in, to come and distort their peace, their enjoyment, their abundance, they have a shepherd. The work of the shepherd there is to protect them, is to ensure that no intruder will come and harm them. So you have comfort, you have abundance, you have plenty to eat, you have good, everything there is just glorious, and you have a mighty shepherd to protect you. Amen? Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Now look at what the scripture says in Ezekiel 34, 11 to 14. It says, so says the Lord God, Indeed, I myself will search for my sheep and seek them out. He says, as a shepherd seeks out his flock on a day is among his scattered sheep. So I will seek out my sheep and deliver them from all the places where they were scattered, a cloudy and dark day. Verse 13 says, and I will bring them out from the people and gather them from the countries and bring them to their own land. He says, I will feed them on mountains of Israel, in the valleys and in all the inhabitant places of the country. I will feed them in good pasture and their fold shall be on high mountains of Israel. They shall lie down in a good fold and feed in rich pasture on the mountains of Israel. Ezekiel 34, 11 to 14. Amen. God is saying to us that he's going to put us in the best place that we can ever be. Where we have abundance, we'll have peace, we'll have plenty to eat, where his protection will be upon us because he's the good shepherd. Amen. This revelation is the same thing that David said in Psalm 23, verse 1 and 2. It says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. It makes me to lie down in green pastures. It leads me beside the still waters. Amen. The best place that every one of us need to be is in green pastures. Amen. And when you can allow the Lord to be your shepherd, then your green pastures is secured. So everything that we do, Every day, running around, trying to do things, looking for connections, help, whatever we do. All we are trying to do as human beings is to be in the best place that we can be. In a place of peace, in a place of comfort, in a place of joy, in a place of abundance, in a place of plenty, in a place that is protected, in a place where we can lie down and rest and enjoy the goodness that comes. And the only way this can be guaranteed is when you allow the Lord to be your shepherd. And that's where man is missing it. Amen? So um, our prayer focus this morning is for us to have that understanding and that revelation that if we can allow the Lord to be our shepherd, then these green pastures that we are all seeking, we can find it because he will ensure that it brings you into your, good, your place of green pastures. 
So I pray for you this morning that the understanding and the revelation to submit to the shepherd, the almighty God, the good shepherd, the one that protects God release unto you even today, this week, in the mighty name of Jesus. All the understanding that you need to submit to the will and counsel of God that will ensure that you lie down in your green pastures, God will reveal unto you today in the name of Jesus. Everywhere that you have been struggling in your life to submit, to think, oh, if I begin to serve God, if I begin to follow the ways of God, then I will lose all that I have. I will lose my connections. I will lose everything that I have. I will lose my source of livelihood. All of such, all those lies of the devil, today I pray for you that all of such will disappear from your heart and mind in the mighty name of Jesus. Because indeed and truly, it is God that guarantees your green pastures. It is God that will guarantee your peace. It's the one that will guarantee your protection and your provision. I pray for you today that all that you need to do to submit to God such that you will lie in your green pastures, God will give you that heart today in the mighty name of Jesus. Every stony heart that has refused to submit to God, today I pray that all of such will disappear. Your heart will be a heart of flesh. You will submit to the will and counsel of God and you will find your green pastures in the mighty name of Jesus. This morning, I pray that God will locate you and your spirit will be lifted and it will answer to the calling of God for your life such that you will be established in your green pastures in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray that as a sheep looks up to a shepherd for protection, today God will give you that grace to look up to him, to look up to the hills so that you will find help, you will find protection, you will find favor in the mighty name of Jesus. Everywhere that you have done things on your own and you did not succeed, this time round, as you put your trust in God, there will be a complete turnaround. You will be established in your place of joy, in the place of green pastures, in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, I ask that wherever you have been lost, and you have, you know, you have been lost in the, in, in the activities of life. And it's as if you have missed your, your bearings. You have missed your direction and you are going astray out of the counsel of God. Today, the mercy of God will find you and it will bring you back into his fold. Wherever you have been scattered, God will restore you back and it will cause you to be established in your green pastures. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you that beginning from today, every of your struggling and toiling and frustration and limitations and scarcity, they will come to an end and you'll be established in your green pastures such that you have abundance, you will have joy, you will lie down in peace, you will have more than enough that and the hand of God will be there to lift you and protect you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God is a good shepherd. He has good plans, good thoughts for you. I pray that every good plan that God has for you in this season of your life, it will be established, it will come to realization, it will manifest, it will last, it will work in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everywhere that you have strayed out, of God's plan for your life. Today, the mercy of God locates you, brings you back, and puts you on the path that you will encounter your green pastures, your peace, your protection in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you that as God establishes you in the place of your abundance, in the place of your peace, in the place of your comfort, in the place of your joy, in the place of your greatness, nothing will take you out of that place in the mighty name of Jesus. Because you see, a sheep can stray away. It can stray away and enter into the lion's den. And the lion will consume. I pray for you, beginning from today, you will no longer stray away out of the presence of God. Anything that is attractive outside God's presence, that is a 
a, a bait to lead you into the lion's den. God will open your eyes to see it. You will not be a victim in the mighty name of Jesus. You will remain in the place that God has placed you. In the place of comfort. In the place of joy. In the place of abundance. In the place of peace. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you this week. All the contacts and everything. In fact, all things will work together for your good even this week in the mighty name of Jesus. Such that you will be established in your green pastures in the name of Jesus. You will be established in comfort. You will be established in joy. You will be established in peace. You will have more than enough. Your cup will run over. And great shall be your testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, I release the blessing of God upon you. I pray that the hand of God will find you. The hand of God will carry you. The hand of God will fight for you. The hand of God will keep you in a place of comfort. In the name of Jesus. Everything that has caused you pain and sorrow. Today, it will come to an end. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because God is your shepherd. It will lead you to a place that he has prepared for your satisfaction, for your abundance, for your, your plenty, for your peace in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you everywhere that the enemy has been troubling you and has been sending all manners of trials and challenges just to keep you oppressed. Today, you are delivered of such in the name of Jesus. God is arising for you to help you to come out of all oppressions of the devil and his agents in the mighty name of Jesus. You are set free in the name of Jesus. I pray for you today. I decree you are set free in the name of Jesus and you are established in your green pastures. So shall it be for you in the name of Jesus. Today, the blessing of God will locate you. It will carry you. It will envelope you. It will cause your sorrow to turn to joy. It will cause your, your scarcity to turn to abundance. It will cause your limitations to be broken. It will cause mountains that are blocking you to be made plain. You will be established in your green pastures. And I decree that as you are established in your green pastures, beginning from today, nothing will take you out. You will no longer be distracted. You will no longer sorrow. You will no longer be frustrated. But there will be a newness of life concerning you, concerning your loved ones, in the name of Jesus. You will lie down in green pastures because the Lord shall be your shepherd. I pray that beginning from today, the strength, the ability, the desire, the panting for you to submit to the leadership of Lord Jesus, to for you to align yourself with what Jesus has planned for you, for you to find that path that will lead you to your green pastures, God release unto you even today in the name of Jesus. And beginning from now, your story, it turns into glory in the name of Jesus. So shall it be for you in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Beginning from today, you are established in your abundance, you are established in your peace, you are established in joy, you will lie down in green pastures, you will enjoy the goodness, the favors, and the mercy of God in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be for you in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. Have a successful week ahead. And today, walk in confidence and know that God is putting and establishing you in your place of joy, in your place of green pastures, and you will enjoy everything that God has prepared for you in the name of Jesus. So shall it be for you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. Shalom.